I want to discuss the U.S. equity flows we've been seeing and what you expect going forward, given that so much of the trade continues to be based on expectations for the central bank. And we are gearing up for that announcement, the speech from Yellen, just a bit later today. So how concerned are you about a less dovish commentary from Janet Yellen? Well, I find it interesting the, uh, what happens with the central bank. And what uh, we look at these Fed meetings, they're eight a year, and every time uh, there is a, there does tend to be, there are two things I want to talk about. One is what happens right before the meeting. Um, there is a tendency for prices to rise right before the meeting. Investors do get paid for assuming risk, not knowing what the Fed is going to do. So there is an anomaly um, that has been recognized in the academic world for some time that prices do go up just prior to the announcement. Now, after the announcement, though, as far as I know, there's no academic work that shows that there is anything predictable about what the Fed's action is at that time. Um, and so I think this is, it's over-anticipated, and it is also, it, it, most, most of the time it's discounted into the market. And so whatever they do, it's not, there's not, nothing that you can predict based upon what their actions will be. So bearing that view in mind, your ETF actually is a way to try to ride out some of the volatility we've seen. And despite that massive sell-off we saw to the start of the year, we have seen a recovery since mid-February, although that does seem to be petering out somewhat. What are you expecting going forward, let's say, for the next quarter ahead? Our model, which actually includes about 20 variables, does not like equity returns in the next year. Uh, we are actually showing the market to be about flat. And we have a long-term model and a short-term model. And uh, I think right now we're like 7% short the market. Uh, but uh, so we do not like equity returns going into the next year. And we are getting closer to the next earnings season here. Some suggesting that an earnings recession is on the cards. And perhaps that's just another reason why you could view equities as overbought at this stage. Do you agree? Well, we do have a variable in the, in the model, which is a price variable, which looks at price to earnings ratio, price to book, um, earnings yield, and also something called CAPE. Uh, Robert Schiller created cyclically adjusted price to earnings ratios. And uh, so we take these four, we use a principal components analysis, which, uh, which, cons which then consists of our equity, our uh, value variable. And that's gone from being undervalued to now to be slightly overvalued at these levels. Um, so we really, from that standpoint, from, a, from an earnings standpoint, we look at the market as being fairly valued. But when we take into other, other considerations, um, we have a variable called K. That's consumption, wealth, and income. From wealth and income, for individuals or on an aggregate basis, you should be able to predict how much we will consume. Uh, right now, and this, this variable was created by Martin Letow at the University of California, Berkeley, in about 2002. And right now, we have consumers are consuming less than they would an be anticipated to consume, and that is bearish for the market. And yeah. that, that variable does get a fairly high weight in our model.